Hey kids, how's it going? So tonight's adventure is what it's like in a bathhouse for all of you that have never been. Okay, so there's a couple types of bathhouses. There's this regular bathhouse where people actually go and wash themselves. I guess you can in the second one, but the second one is more of a homosexual bathhouse where men go to fornicate with each other and... Uh, yeah, wash each other and do other things. So you go there generally and rent a locker or a room for an eight-hour period. And it's it's quite interesting. So you go in, you do your thing, you get changed, and you wander around. A lot of guys wear bath towels. I, uh, I don't. I don't wear anything. I just wander around, and that's my thing. Right? If you got to flaunt it, you know? We're all there for one reason and pretty much one reason only. So you can rent a room as well. And some of these rooms, small rooms generally just have a bed. Some of the room, like a sort of a thin mattress, it's, it's all wiped downable. And then there's rooms with slightly upgraded with the TV and some mirrors. Then there's sometimes rooms with uh, double wide, bigger TVs, more mirrors. There's slings. A sling is something that's, look it up. It's a, it just look up an adult sling. And you're basically hanging up there with your ass up in the air like, oh, yeah, yeah. So those are comfy. Those are really comfy. Um, then there are all sorts of other accoutrements in between. So there's sometimes jacuzzis, sometimes uh, saunas, sometimes steam rooms, sometimes sun rooms where you can go sunning upstairs. Some have massage therapists on site actual massage therapist because honestly you're going to get a fucking rub and tug one way or another if you want to okay in in the in the rest of the place um there are sometimes gyms and yeah it's interesting it's interesting to do that and you get it all in eight hour periods some places let you renew some places don't uh there's all types go I generally find later in the evening, like as in like, you know, overnight, sort of like early, early morning, like two, three is when there's a lot of drug use in a lot of places. And I'm not a really big fan of that anymore for obvious reasons. And yeah, it's, it's, it's what it is. Okay. Uh, there are dark rooms in certain places where you don't know who you're fucking, you don't know who's fucking you, touching you, sucking you, whatever. It doesn't matter because no one can see and that's that a lot of people get off on that. It's the anonymity of it all. There are some places that are less dark where they have fuck benches set up. They have uh, glory holes. And a glory hole is when there's basically, put, imagine a, a wall and you stick your dick through and someone sucks it. You don't know who. Or you could be the one sucking or you could stick your ass up and someone fucks you. Or yeah, that's basically the glory hole. You do it through walls so and no, the only parts touching are your genitals and your ass, right? You're, uh, there's ones, the ones I, one, one of my favorite ones in Germany is there's a full restaurant in there and you can have a beer and a uh, lunch in between, right? Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Uh, there are different, some have more, th are more themed. There's ones that are more twink oriented, ones that are more Asian oriented, ones that are more leather oriented, ones that are more Water sports oriented, and water sports is piss play. So people piss on each other, in each other, drink it, all that sort of stuff. Okay, um, yeah. There's a lot of so a lot of times there's wet facilities where meaning that there's an area where you can douche yourself out. Douching mean you put water up your butt till it runs clear. No one wants a poopy dick. Ain't fun. Okay, well some people want a poopy dick. Not my thing. Okay, so. That's that. There's that. Uh, there are situations you can just wander from room to room. A lot of people leave the rooms open. A lot of people don't. Um, so etiquette is is sort of like you guys make eye contact. You rub your dick a little bit. Give like a nonverbal communication, and basically the person in the room invites someone else in. That is the way it should go. A lot of guys just barge their way in like, oh, you're hot and start fucking touching you. And you're like, no. And they're like, oh, why not? Mm -hmm. So as you know, men have a large problem with this consent, especially when you've got dick and ass flying in your face. People want it really bad. Then be called thirsty bitches. And the thirsty bitches sit there and barge their way in. And it ain't cool. Um, there are people who will touch you over and over again. And you're like, no. And they will just be like, oh, no, no, that's okay. No, no, that's, I'm like, just 
don't. They're like, oh, no, it's okay, it's okay. I'm like, no. I said no. Like, but, yeah, it's okay. I'm like, no, no, it's not. I am not consenting to you touching me right now. They think just, it's just kind of like, oh, you're naked, so you're free to touch. It's, again, oh, she was wearing it. She deserved it. Or asking for it, or whatever. Like, dumb bullshit people tell themselves, okay? So, you can sit in the sauna. I love sitting in the sauna and just being naked. And... You know what? I like getting looked at. I fucking look better than I ever have, and I'm going to absorb that while I can. So people generally have sex there. A lot of, well, all most of the time people have sex. I like working out and getting watched. Uh, that's my thing. One of my things. Um, there is, uh, there they generally encourage safer sex. Uh, however, there is a lot of unprotected sex that is part of the culture. In bathhouses, it is dirty and dirty and dumpy, right? And that's part of the whole thing. It's where you go when you don't want to look online and you're just looking for dick or ass or both. Okay? And uh, it's definitely definitely fun. It, it, you you can get sucked into it pretty easily. Um, it's, it's its own culture. It's like bars. A lot of times people go after the bars. And when they, people come after the bars, they are drunk. They are flailing around. It's... Hard to control, like someone will fuck you for two seconds or you fuck them for two seconds. They're like, oh my God, I got to go. I'm like, oh my God. You can definitely tell who's on what and where, when, why and all that jazz. And it, it becomes a mess sometimes, but sometimes that's the mess you want. Okay, there's generally pornography playing. Um, a lot of times there's computers for people to chill out. There's usually a lounge where people can just watch TV and relax. Um, sometimes there's snacks, sometimes there's not. There's... Generally front desk staff, and if you need to exchange your towel, you can. It's usually a relatively f safe place as well. So when I was homeless, I, I used to pay my whatever it was, 20 bucks, and I would stay overnight. And like, you know, they'd be like, you know, Derek, you got to go after a while. They let me get away with staying longer, especially if there's no one there. I would just spend the nights because I had nowhere else to go and it was safe. So I would just shower, I would chill out, and sleep, and then I'd wake up the next day. And... Uh, I was ready to go. So it's generally regarded as a safe space as well now. Um, they used to not be. Um, and if you're wondering how people can get away with doing all this, it becomes under the private club. So you have to pay a private membership. And once you pay a private membership, for a private membership, you uh, generally can get away with whatever you want. And it's interesting to a, to a degree, of course. Say there's safety and there's all other things involved. So you can use your imagination there. However, it's a fun place to go. It's uh, generally a safe space. Um, yeah, they're they're part of gay culture. It is uh, it's interesting. And no, I don't know if there's lesbian ones. Um, I know there's straight. There's a straight one here in this city, eh, but it's not super gay. It's just it's not super sexy. It's just kind of like people just go and chill out. There are the, there are uh, sort of parties, but it's generally not what happens. Their sex definitely doesn't happen. There's just people being naked. Okay, so the gay ones, it is definitely people fucking. Mm -hmm. Getting the jiggy on. Okay. Anyways, kids, stay safe. Have a good one. Bye.